while back, I made this fun piece with some pebbles I had found when I was doing a residency in Ireland. Who of you don't have a bunch of pebbles and shells hanging out, right? So you're with the grandkids, you collect shells on the beach. Now let's make something with them. So we have a nice selection here. We have Jonathan Allais to help us. I'm sorry about that. And we're going to do some scenes using pebbles and shells. What we'll need today to make this project happen is a suitable base, a suitable substrate. So we're going to use these nice pieces. Would you flip that over? These I get from an art supply store. It's medium density fiberboard. It's fine for inside. I like these panels. They have a keyhole. If you want me to tell you where I get these, just send me an email. I'm happy to share that information. And these are already primed with gesso. So they're a little rough, but we're going to be using pre-mixed thin set today as our adhesive. So what I've done with this piece is I've actually taken a box cutter and done a little additional scoring just to give it a little more tooth. So I have an extra couple of these substrates. Rather than have the kids lay on the piece that we're actually going to glue on, I have them dry laying on, a, on one just as a template because we'll have to move everything over when it's time to glue. How funny is that? Oh, that's a nice head. <laughs> My adhesive of choice with materials like this would be to use thin set. And you can purchase pre made thin set, which is really very adequate for interior works. Not rated for exterior, but our pieces are for inside display. You can buy relatively small containers of this. This is a bigger one at a home supply store. The mortar comes in a white version or a gray version. I decided to go with the gray because I think we'll see the shells a little bit more. So I'm just spreading out a quarter of an inch or so. I think you're pretty close. So, again, remembering where our keyhole is, I'm going to set this down so my friend here can actually begin to glue. Let's lay them down before we push them down too much, and then we'll really do examine who might need a little more. Okay, let's see. This guy, oops, sorry. A little test is to try and pick a piece back up ever so gently because if it picks up too easily then it doesn't have what's called a good seat. But most of these pieces are pretty firm. Nice. So what a great memory, right? of a beach vacation that you could make with your grandkids. What fabulous, fun projects to do with your shells, with your pebbles, and with your kids. A great rainy day activity. Hey, thank you for watching. Did we have fun? Yes. Yeah. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces. pieces.